sleep well. Go and get to your bustle that you have. <laughs> Ask you, pal. Oh, that's for being drunk and disorderly. I mean, what, what the hell is the point of being drunk if you can't be a wee bit disorderly? <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't be going. You need, you, need, you need a wee bit of escapism in your life. That's why, that's why I suck the heat through Lynn Polly's window. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's the nearest thing I'm going to get to a holiday this year, you know? <laughs> Well, what's this? A blanket. Oh. Uh, the, ma the match in Valence and Duck Down Davy will be here any minute for you. Don't wait up. <laughs> well, I, I must say, I, li I like a good listener. I also like some bugger that opens his yap now and again and utters a few syllables, but then one out of two is no bad. Only I don't I don't like a quiet room, you know. You like you like a quiet room yourself? <laughs> Aye, you you like a quiet room. Only I I can't stand being in my cell, you know. And, and, I need, I need other, other, other punters with me, no. Other people that I can rip a piss at. <laughs> abuse, abuse, abuse. Mentally and emotionally. Because <laughs> you see, that's me. I'm a people kind of person. <laughs> in fact, I've, I've seen, I've seen me, I've seen me go in the house tonight. Realise there's nobody in the house. And then, and then you straight back out and walk the streets again until the family gets back, you know. <laughs> then, then, then I go back in, take one swatch at them, realise what a bunch of ugly cruds they are, <laughs> and you straight back out and walk the streets again. <laughs> no, no, that, uh, no, that there's any way to walk and go in, you understand. I mean, once, once you've clocked the kebab shop and the underpass, well, oh, you've exhausted the scenic splendour such time, you know? <laughs> you, you sleeping, pal? <laughs> God, this is going to do my boxing. Stuck in here, my Jack Jones in the prison call. <sighs> never mind, never mind. Come on, think. Positive. You can whack in with the right attitude. <laughs> uh, who was I telling about again? <laughs> oh, I, the family. No, no, like I say, think positive. <laughs> have, uh, have, you, have you got a family yourself, pal? I say, have you got a family yourself? You think of it. Think of it. You know, you take your time, take your time. Because I wouldn't want you rushing you along into an eye or an or a wee grunt or something, you know. Some some you might regret in later life. Jeez, <laughs> God, this place this place would freeze the chuff off me so <laughs> You think you think a fat bastard like me would be able to stand the call? But I can't. I can't stand the call. Can you stand the call, pal? Eh? Oh, boy, the shoes are maybe, you know what I mean? So, don't let the bastards get you. That's me way. Good night. Average Britain is five feet eight. So what did he do? 
They make the regulation blanket, five foot five. <laughs> so this boy, that is as good an insight into the psychology of the penal system as you'll get. I mean, when, once you've tumbled to the fact that half of this country is run by people with a mentality of the average seaside landlady, a lot of stuff falls into place, you know. Hey, Nisbet, are you comfortable? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, just, just, just one thing. I'm a wee tit on the warm side. I've got to keep flinging off this idle down. <laughs> Think you could turn the central heating down a wee tit? Suck it, swine. Why me? Why me? You here, yeah? yeah? Don't let the bastards get you. Always let them underestimate you. And that way, Catch him on the hop. Excuse, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> That's one of the advantages about being a monkey swipe. <laughs> Even the HIV squad is too fierce to have up that digit up my archiver, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, Christ. What would life be worth without a bag? Hey, you. Do you want to set off the smoke alarms? Nip the fag. Nip it. No. Ah, 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 ah. On the floor with it. I said on the floor. <laughs> now stomp. Eh? I said stomp. Stomp! <laughs> Better. Yeah, swine, yeah. Okay, I hope, I hope you're enjoying yourself. I mean, why, why don't you just fling in a wheel and a honey stick, eh? Because I'm, I'm flying in the cage with you, eh? <laughs> Call it the useless air of your crummy life. Well, the forensic is up in your wife's bedroom. Just not touch. I'm You're looking for a boon, pal. Oh, fuck why, man. Not like that, don't like that. Maybe, maybe you could teach me to talk. Eh? I'm better still, Chris. I could teach you to talk. Could you be like the bird man of Alcatraz in the verse? What could we call you? Cuckle, cuckle. Could that be a good name for you, wouldn't it? Cuckle, eh? Cuckle, cuckle. Who did I come back again? Who did I come back again? Right, you've gone beyond a joke. You're going to suffer. You're going to suffer, cos... Is that the best you can do in conversation? <laughs> I, I'd be better picking chill up in some high rise with some granny wrapped in bacon foil flashing her gussets at me. <laughs> Come on! You, you had a useless dot of plankton that put me in here. So the least you can do is entertain me. So into bloody time! You're not here to be entertained. You're here because you broke the law. Who says I broke the law? Who says I broke the law? Hey, whatever happened to innocent till proven guilty? You were guilty the day you were born. What is it? Well, that kind of, that kind of gives the law a body swerve, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> so why don't, why don't you just fling in the key here and you and I'll go way up together? Have a pint up Fairfield, come on, would you say? I wouldn't drink with scum like you. Enjoy yourself, Nisbet. It's going to be a long night. Aye, for you and me both, pal, for you and me both. You'll no grind me down, you bastard, you'll no grind me down. We'll see about that. <coughs> You're my witness, pal. I come, I come in here with, I come in here with a full set of ribs. <laughs> and these balls is normal size, three electrodes. <laughs> Hell of a quiet in there. What are you doing? Thinking. Well, think noisier then. I want to know what you're up to. Think noisier? 
Did I not, did I not see you in the curtain factor? <laughs> but, you, but you know the fella with the square he'd try to shove it into our own hole. Don't get above yourself. You're already on your last warning. <laughs> What's the matter? Do you not like cigars? No, 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 no. Live and, live and let live. That's what I say, live and let live. Oh, what's the matter? Am I being insensitive? Is it a smoke you're wanting? Well, I thought I'd get a cross my mind, so I'd tell you. Well, you should have said, here, have one of mine. Can it? Oh, no, would you believe it? This is my last one. Still, we can always share it 50 50, eh? Hey, you did that for me? Thanks very much, thanks very much. Aye, 50 50. I'll suck and you sniff. <laughs> you getting any? We back. We back. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, Rab. Just remembered. They smoke detectors. What a memory I've got, eh? You yeah, bastard. <laughs> you twisted swine that you are. I told you, Nisbet. You're gonna suffer. You'll no break me, boy. You'll no break me. Look at you, look at you. Stand in there. You pathetic runt that you are. I'll tell you, I hope, I hope you're saving stand in there with your stupid Tom thumb in your hand because I'll tell you. See up, see up in your wife's bedroom, then you The flying squad is slitting up. The luxury lunch. You are dead. I wish I was. You say something like that. Oh. You're awake. You're awake, aren't you, Peter? Eh? Click, 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 click. <laughs> Sleep. Oh, that's, a, that's a pity. That's a big, big shame. Because I'll tell you, you got a nice ass. <laughs> I can like a nice ass for I was just gonna roll you over so you can die to do it. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Up here, up here. Are you Rob? Hi, hi. Rob C. Hi, hi. Rob C. McSevney for Castle Mount. No, no, no. I'm Rob C. Nisbet for Govan. Uh, hey. Hey. I've got some fags for him. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is with him. I'm, I'm usually quite good at setting up a relationship with people. Maybe, maybe I should try and play this a wee bit cute here. <laughs> maybe try and ingratiate myself with big sound only out there. Try and beguile them with my urbane charm and strike up a rapport with a bastard. <laughs> I, Fair enough. Fair enough. But you need a thousand faces for this life. And I've only got two. So that's a damn sight fewer than a lot of people, isn't it? What's this? What's this? Watch the old cow of Wine Alley get to work with his silky smooth social skills. <laughs> ha! What? You fancy striking up a rapport with me? Yeah, ugly wee boat bag at ya. That's an instalment. I'm away to fetch something new. See when I get back, you're a dead man! All <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to say was no. no. <laughs> How do you make of that? How do you make of that? Hey, you see that? Try, try and put a fright on me there. Try and put a fright on me. 
Aye, well, I'll, there'll no bit of fear of God up me, boy. There'll no bit of fear of God up me. I'm ready for them. I am ready for them. And fair enough, fair enough. He might put his foot through that door at any minute and come stomping in here with 20 uniformed auxiliaries waving rubber battens. Ha <laughs> ha! I've got something. I've got something ten times. Ten times more purple than rubber bands on my side. Hell, can remember what it was. <laughs> Why? Why? British justice. Let, let them lay one finger in me, and the full weight of British justice will come tumbling down about their nappers. <laughs> Mind you, the full weight of 40 odd Doc Martens and 20 rubber pansons will be. Tumbling down about mine, but come, come the inquiry, boy. Come the independent police inquiry. Ha ha! <laughs> Who the hell am I trying to kid? Independent inquiry. Christ, the Lord Chief Justice will be up there. Rubber stamping my accidental death bomb before my, before my crates have hit the morgue. Jeez, I'll just be my luck. I'll be another statistic. See, Christ. Hell of a place this was statistics, isn't it? I mean, my father was a statistic, and his father before him. I want it better for me. Don't you end up getting kicked to death in police custody, sir. God willing, you'll have a better death, you know. Something maybe with a wee bit of status to it, some like a burst ulcer or something. <laughs> I would. I would. His memory to go down fighting. You're not going to mark me without a struggle. None savoury, pal. I'm just listening to your silence of blood. A chimp. I need a chimp. <laughs> oh, One sight in this and I could hold off an army. <laughs> Come on, you bastard! Come my head and do your best! I'm ready for you! I'm wasting a lot of good aggression here, you know. <laughs> well, maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just getting paranoid. How a way to fetch something new, which what's I mean, because that could have been in, and it could have been these knitting for a while, I know what you know. <laughs> See, that's typical of me. See, I, I got all worked up, I got all worked up about nothing. I mean, why the hell should you have it in for me? Eh? We know all I did was to suggest he was an inadequate wee runt and half the force was podgering his wife. Where's the harm in that? <laughs> because that's, that's where they joined the police force, isn't it? So as you can feel morally superior in a thin blue line, giving it all that grace under pressure routine while some ram raiders thumping the buttons dummy after the riot shield. I mean, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no saying, I'm no saying they're getting above themselves or nothing. But I mean, pretty soon the police helmet is going to come completely crown of thorns. <laughs> they don't get me wrong. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, they do a good job. Some of them. I mean, it's because it's that, it's that us name mentality. Because they don't use a noddle. They don't use a noddle. They, you see the buggers now? They're spending thousands, thousands on ad campaigns to try and recruit the minorities, your, your blacks and your Asians, into the police force. But it's not the blacks and Asians that cause the bother, is it? It's scum like me. <laughs> so that's what they should do. They should try and recruit me a scum into the Polish force. <laughs> you wouldn't have a big job, would it? All they'd have to do would be to change a Polish uniform to a purple shell suit and a baseball cap. Because <laughs> half a government would join up, you know. <laughs> well, he's coming and he's no. Hey, come on. I'm a little sick to the bone of my pan here. Hey, never a do a when you need one. That's just, that's just like the modern polar sports, isn't it? Hey, too busy, too busy hacking into computers, tapping into people's personal affairs. They've lost the one to one reassuring intimacy of ordinary thug in the beat. They're all too bloody tame these days. Guess who? 
So you were away at hibernate. No, what? The first cuckold of spring. Oh, come on. I was just a wee bit of banter there, you know. What the hell are you going to do with that thing? Get away from the door and you'll see. Is, uh, is, this, is this not a wee bit of OTT? <laughs> it's an oldies. Hildy, you'd have just bitten my tea. And very nice piss it was, too. Come on, pal. I think it's a wee joke. Have you? Because you don't remember jokes. <laughs> remember the time we used to have in here? <laughs> Talk about laugh. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Well, if it's not an overflow pipe for a bathroom, think you've got me. It's a gun. <laughs> you've, you've got me with a mystery object. Now, maybe try me with something different this time. Maybe something a wee bit fluffier, eh? See this? This is going to blow your head off. Now, just call, call me naive. But I think even a British judge is going to notice a heedless corpse taking away. Shut up! I'm sick of scum what you is, but... I'm sick of being treated like an Egypt by trash. It's worth less hours in a lifetime than I've worked in the average night shift. Oh, I know there's no half some wasters going to boot nudies. In fact, I said that to your storm the other day. I said shut up! Come on! You know fine well you're not going to do anything with that thing. Oh no. Oh no, Christ, you get 20 years for murder. Fair enough, 15, because it's only me, but... I don't care. <laughs> don't care, because I don't, but I still you care. You'd lose, your, you'd lose your job, you'd forfeit your pension, I'll tell you. Half the force wouldn't be quacking it up your woman. You don't use your fat. <laughs> you don't understand, I don't care. Okay, what do you mean you don't care? You really got to me tonight, Nisbet. Do you know why? Because half the station really is whapping up my woman. <laughs> Must have been inside. I'm already inside, Nisbet. You're here all night. I'm here all night. We're both prisoners, Nisbet. I hate my life. I hate this job. The stress, the tension. The stupid checked hat and chin strap. But you can't shoot me. You can't shoot me. I know. You have to shoot him and all. He's a witness. <laughs> no problem. I mean, if you're going to blow away one, you might as well blow away two. Use your common sense. Right enough, right enough. Sorry, I wasn't being rational there, you know. Because <laughs> in a couple of seconds of time, you don't need to worry about being rational ever again. What, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm going to blow your brains out. You would. Oh, but I would. After three. One. Two. <laughs> three. Okay. Oh, I don't know how you dream them up. Hey, if it wasn't for laughing here, I'd go off my heat. <laughs> don't you worry, pal. I'd just come back. I was just playing along with you. Yeah, I'm stuck up playing it out. You won't get me with that old trick. You don't scare me, boy. You don't scare me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't feel half as cold, me. <laughs> I'm a damp between my legs, my dear. That is my last roll of the dice, sir. You'll know you're another beat out of me. Never complain. Never explain. Because there comes a time when enough is enough. But a man can take no more. <laughs> Sleep.
No, no, you can't let the bastards get you. See that? It's a whole trick in life. Always look forward. Never look back. I mean, why, do, why don't you chuck in a wheel and a honey stick? I'll fly about the cage for you. You bam it, yeah. No, no, no. You can't let the bastards get you. No. Only I don't like acquiring. Do you like acquiring? Yeah. 